Today's question is whether or not the cops can come on your private property and, without a search warrant, search your vehicles. Well, this is based on a real case that recently went before the Supreme Court. I've got to change it a little bit just to make it slightly more interesting, I hope. But let's say that you have a friend, Sticky Fingers Pete. And Sticky Fingers has a motorcycle parked outside his residence. The motorcycle's under a tarp. Curious Bob, the cop, comes along. He sees the motorcycle. He thinks, you know, I think I recognize that bike. Or I think that's a bike under there. It looks like a bike under the tarp. Let me take a little peeksy poo and see what it is. He lifts the tarp, looks, says, ha, huh, let me run the tag. Runs the tag, comes back, bike stolen, stolen bike. Officer says, ha, ha. He arrests Sticky Fingers for the stolen bike. Case goes to court. His defense lawyer says, judge, that, sir, that was an illegal search. It was unreasonable. That cop had no business going on his private property and lifting up that tarp and looking. That was a search. It was unreasonable and it was illegal and therefore the evidence should be tossed. Prosecutor goes, judge, uh-uh. There's an automobile exception, which there is. There's an automobile exception to the requirement that police first go get a search warrant to search something. A car, it's something, a car or a motorcycle or whatever, any kind of motor vehicle can be moved. And so, there's urgency involved there, and the police should be able to, you know, run a run a search and do a search without having to go to the trouble of getting a search warrant. And just to explain a little bit of background, generally the law says that here's the general rule: you're allowed to be free of unreasonable searches and seizures. And so to try to ensure that any kind of search or seizure of, of you or your person is reasonable. The general rule is that the police are supposed to go to a neutral and detached magistrate. And they say, here's our facts. And the magistrate goes, is it reasonable or not? If the magistrate says that's reasonable, he gives them a piece of paper called a search warrant. They go and they get to look and they're protected because they've run it by a neutral and detached third party, party the magistrate. But as in all things legal, there's exceptions. And one of the exceptions is a police officer has a vehicle, a motor vehicle particularly, but a vehicle, something that can move, the courts say, nah, he doesn't need to go to a magistrate in most instances. The reason is, hey, by the time he goes and gets a search warrant, boom, the person's driven away and so is the evidence. So in this case, it was a new scenario and it went all the way up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said, well, sorry, we think that here, it's not, it doesn't fit under that exception. So we're going to make an exception to the exception. So you have the general rule, you got to get a search warrant, you have the exception. Oh, in a vehicle, you don't need to get a search warrant because it can move. And then you have an exception to that exception that says, oh, if the vehicle is parked on private property, you do need to get a search warrant. So that's clear, right? <laughs> At any rate, that's the rule. If you have a vehicle on private property, they cannot, they being the police, cannot come and search it under most instances without getting a search warrant because it is typically going to be unreasonable. Now, there may be specific facts and circumstances where the courts say, oh, well, in that case, maybe. That's why we need lawyers. That's how I get to have a job. At any rate, if you find yourself in a legal jam and you want our help here at Siegel and Siegel, just give us a call. The phone number is somewhere down here below. I hope you enjoy these videos and find them educational and informative and all that good stuff. If you like them, please give us that thumbs up button. And of course, I'd like you to subscribe because that's good for us too. Thanks for watching. I'm attorney Andy Siegel.